Hello, I'm Ralph Bright, Vice President of Marketing with Interpower Group of Companies, and with me today is Ron Barnett. Ron is the Project Manager for Interpower Group of Companies. Ron, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Ralph. Today I'd like to discuss designing for Brazil and what designers need to know. So I guess I'll just start off right there. What does a designer need to know when he's exporting to Brazil? Well, there is a relatively new standard called NBR 14136 which went into effect on January 1st of 2010. Uh, this is a standard from the Brazilian agency in Metro, and that standard was put in place to set up requirements for plugs and receptacles. Uh, this standard is based on an international standard called IEC 60906-1, which was developed to encourage countries to work on establishing a common plug and receptacle format for global use. Okay, so what are the ratings of these plugs and receptacles, and is, is, there, is there more than one? Uh, yes, there is. Actually, these are rated as class one and class two, class one being a grounded version of this plug and class two being a non-grounded version. Uh, the electrical rating for these is 250 volts AC at 60 hertz. Now, there are two versions of the plug. There is a 10 amp version and a 20 amp version. The uh, 10 amp version has uh, 4.0 4 millimeter uh, ins partially insulated pins, mm -hmm. and there are two versions of this. There is a class one and class two version of this also. The 20 amp plug, there is a uh, two versions also again, mm -hmm. uh, class one and a class two being the grounded and the non-grounded. Uh, this is, has a slightly larger pin. That pin diameter is 4.8 millimeters compared to 4.0 for the, uh, the 10 amp plug. Both of these plug types have a common body uh, that body requirement is set forth in the Brazilian standard NBR 14136, and the pin difference diameter is really the only difference between those two plugs. Now, in looking at the uh, Brazilian plugs that we have manufactured here at Interpower, the, the plug looks very, very similar to the Swiss plug. Um, are, are they the same? Uh, no, they're not. They're very close. Uh, they are both based on the standard I mentioned before, IEC 6906-1. Uh, the Brazil plug does resemble the Swiss, as you mentioned, but the pin alignment is slightly different. Uh, both plugs now have partially insulated pins, which makes them very similar also. Okay, now, why do they specify insulated pins, and what does the insulation really do? This is a safety measure that was set up to uh, prevent any kind of live contact with the pins. Uh, the partially insulated section is determined basically uh, by how long the pin is and it is there to ensure that when you're plugging this pin in or removing it that you do not make contact with that with that energized part of the pin. Now, what if I have more questions regarding Brazilian standards? As of May 2009, there are 65 product categories requiring mandatory certification. According to in Metro, the in Metro website, uh, these can be applied to voluntary or mandatory products programs. A complete list of these products can be found on their website, which is currently shown on our screen. When the uh, manufacturer does apply for the NMetro certification, they'll have to remember that they will be working with an NMetro accredited lab. This is an independent lab in Brazil that will actually perform the product testing. Okay. Now, Interpower has just certified their Brazilian power cords and cord sets. Is that correct? That's correct. We have just announced uh, our own Brazilian 10 amp and 20 amp plugs at Interpower. These are in Metro approved and can be molded to any length that we need, uh, one foot to 100 feet, for example. Uh, we offer a straight C13 or an angled C13 cord set on these, or a straight or angled C19 cord set on these same uh, power cord sets. If you need a power cord, we offer custom strip lengths as well. Uh, Interpower does have strand lengths available in stock with same day daily shipment and also a one week manufacturing lead time on any length or quantity. Thanks Ron. If you need more information concerning the Brazilian power cords or cord sets at Interpower and or designing for Brazil, you can contact us at 800-662-2290 or visit us on the web at www.interpower.com. For Interpower, I'm Ralph Bright. Thanks for joining us.